Hey everyone, it's Pastor Steve on the Inner Circle. Hope you're having a great day. Um, I was just gonna dive right in today. Uh, enjoying my backyard as you can see. Uh, but I, I wanna just dive a little bit deeper into what I talked about last week uh, as far as entering the Lord's rest. <clears throat> Um, I'm not saying this because I'm terribly burned out or anything, but it's a lot of times, you know, the Lord will just highlight something to me um, that, you know, I just feel like, you know, led to, to stick with for a while. And a lot of times it's because maybe he's seeing uh, down the road something I'm going to need that I don't see, or maybe it's just, you know, for your benefit. Um, but either way, I want to share it with you. Um, uh, maintaining a place where, where we enter and stay in the Lord's rest is really, really important. You know, there's a reason why there are is a Sabbath day. Um, you know, the Lord says, I mean, the, the Bible says that when, when the Lord uh, created, the, created the earth, when God created the earth, on the seventh day, he rested. And that was so important to him that he made it um, a law uh, for his people that on the seventh day, they don't do any work, they rest. Um, so, uh, and, and he, he says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That means treat it like it's one of the most important things in the world is to rest. Um, and I, I know in our culture, we, we associate the Sabbath day with going to church. And although that's good, um, that's not what God meant. He meant, make sure you enter my rest, that you, you, you do what I did. You, you, you labor, you work hard, you, uh, you pursue the things that I've put in your life to pursue, but then make sure on a regular basis, or at least once a week, you take some time to step back from all of that and enter my rest. Now, um, I'm going to read to you from Mark uh, 6, verse 31. It says, uh, and this again is Jesus talking. It says, Then Jesus said, Let's go off by ourselves to a quiet place and rest a while. He said this because there were so many people coming and going that Jesus and his disciples didn't even have time to eat. Now, um, that's a work ethic. I mean, those guys, uh, they're, they're, you know, leaving it all on on the on the the field, so to speak. You know, they're they're not uh, taking it easy. They're not you know living the good life. You know, they're saying, hey, you know, night and day, we're 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 going after this thing. But Jesus um, said, hey, all right, we've done that. Now we need to go and rest. Let's come by, uh, away by ourselves and let's rest. Um, and I think that's really important. That it you know it it's so. Um, okay to work hard and it's a good thing it's so okay to just go after something with everything you've got leave it all on the court um, so to speak as long as you also take time to come away and rest enter his rest um, yeah, this, this, I'm going to read you another scripture from Isaiah uh, chapter 30 verse 15 and it says this this is what the sovereign Lord the Holy One of Israel says only in returning to me and resting in me will you be saved. In quietness and confidence is your strength, but you would have none of it. Um, I, you know, I think a lot of us, uh, whether we realize or not, we resist uh, God when he's giving us a little tug, saying, hey, come on, it's time. You know, you've, you've worked hard, good job. Now it's time to come on, step back from that, and let's, let, let's enter some rest together. You know, uh, I love the part in Genesis where it says in the cool of the day, me, meaning the evening, after Adam and Eve had completed their work, they walked with God in the, in the cool of the day. You know, they would walk and talk and, and have fellowship every day at the end of the day. Um, and that, that was, that's always stuck out to me. You know, like, like that's what we were made for. That's what we were designed for. Um, when we don't get that, you know, things, you know, we can last long. We can, uh, we can build up our endurance to go for a while, you know, and, and just kind of just bull through it or, or run on fumes. But eventually there's going to be a crash. Um, and I, I've learned just to experience to, to not wait for that crash to just say, all right, it's time to come away. It's time to rest. You know, it's time to, to enter a Sabbath season. You know, like Jesus knew his times and places. It, you know, it also says in the Bible, there's a time and a season for everything under the sun. A time to work, a time to rest. Um, and uh, if you don't honor that balance in your life, eventually you will become so out of balance that you will be no good to yourself. You'll be no good to your family. You'll be no good to your job. Be no good to you, to to anyone around you, and um, it, not only that, will you not be any good to them? You'll start to be a drag. You'll start to pull those around you down and around, because uh, people that are burnt out and tired uh, have short fuses. They have um, 
you know, that they say things that they regret. You know, I mean, there's just, there's just less self-control <laughs> to draw from when you're just burned out and exhausted. So all that to say, um, don't, uh, don't avoid resting. You know, do it on a regular basis. And, and more importantly, like Adam and Eve did, do it with God. You know, Jesus said, hey, let's come uh, uh, off by ourselves to a quiet place. He meant come away with me. You know, we've worked hard. That's great. Now come away with me and let's get some rest. Uh, you do that on a regular basis. Um, I, I would say at least weekly, if not daily. Um, you're going to just find joy in the work that you do, in your relationships. You're going to find peace. Uh, and, you know, just like it says in that scripture in Isaiah, in quietness and, and, um, in quietness and confidence is your strength. Um, so I want to encourage you to do that, you know, make, make it a point this week, uh, just to say, all right, before I get to burnout city and before I start being a drag and pulling those I love around me down, um, let me enter some rest. And that doesn't mean sitting on the couch and turning on the boob tube. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, your, your television, although that can be part of it, but you know, like Adam and Eve did it in fellowship with God. So do it in fellowship with God. Do it in fellowship with your family. You do it in a way that you're you're restoring your soul, um, and that's different for everybody. You know, whether it's a hobby, whether it's just time sitting with your friends and family, doesn't matter. Find it. Also, make sure you do it with God. All right, you guys have a great day. I love you. Let's just keep on pressing in as we worship together on Sundays. Um, I'm really excited going into this summer season. I th I think that. Um, we're going to see some special things. We see some special moves of God um, in our services. So let, let's come ready. Let's come prepared. Let's come uh, just, you know, uh, postured to go into his presence and just go after him with everything we've got. All right. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.